Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Laura, and today I have a um, scrapbook.com and an Amazon haul for you. Um, before I jump in, any comments, likes, and or subscribes are always appreciated. Um, you guys are so sweet and so kind and so supportive. So um, let me know if you'd like a follow back if I haven't done so yet. Um, just drop me a comment and let me know. Um, I hope you all are having a good New Year so far. Today is January 3rd and we just went back to work and school today, um, my son and I. Um, so, okay, so this is scrapbook.com. Let me show you the two free items that I got first. Um, so when I ordered, um, they had a free pair of these precision scissors and you can never have too many of these on hand. These are perfect for fussy cutting, um, and I love when these are just a little extra sharp, so glad to get those. Um, I did get these uh, Doodlebug stamps. I don't really have anything by Doodlebug. I know that their stuff is so super cute. Um, so I got this set and let's see, it's called Under the Tree. So there's that. Okay. so. I'd been eyeing the Baking Spirits Bright collection for a while. I was trying to hold off to see if they would include it in maybe a future um, warehouse box or mystery box, but I just was like, just do it. <laughs> so I didn't get the whole collection because the more I looked through all the papers, I don't know, I guess I just it wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. So I did get some pieces that I can make into something um, instead of buying the entire collection. So I did get the chipboard frames. I love chipboard frames. They're so versatile and Simple Stories makes really good quality. So I did get the adhesive brads. I love anything with a mixer. I am a baker as well is a paper crafter so that's that and then I got the bits and pieces so here are the items that are included I love how these are a little bit bigger so yep so these are good for those medium to larger mini albums or scrapbook pages um, so before I go into the papers, I did get a little bit of Hearth and Home. This I got this one before I had actually found the other sets at Tuesday morning. This was definitely more expensive, but at least I have an extra one to have on hand. And I didn't want to risk, you know, not being able to find it in the store. Um, I don't have any Hearth and Home paper. So this was all that they had. They did not have the 12 by 12, but this is plenty to do something um, to make a mini album for my sister-in-law and for myself. So, yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do this flip through. Yeah, this one's from last year, so. Um, I did get a few sheets from the Baking Spirit Sprite. Um, they didn't have all of the single sheets, but I got enough to make something substantial out of it. So I got two of these. I love these cute little candies there. And then the nice kind of, uh, it's not plaid. What would you call that? I know, just a bunch of boxes, I guess. And then these cute little trees. I love that, how they look like they're just all different drawings. And then these journaling cards. Super cute, I love the gingerbread guys. And then of course I like that one. Oh, this up. I could have sworn I've gotten more than one of this one, but that's okay. That's plenty. Okay, let me get the other scrapbook.com item. So this is um, another order that I had placed right before Christmas, um, and they shipped it pretty quickly. I got it on Christmas Eve. Um, so that was pretty cool of them. So this is the free item. I actually don't really have anything from Prima. I think the only thing I have from them are maybe some flowers, but this is a free item. Let's see, what's this one called? Candy Cane Lane. I think this is from the new set this year. I don't see a year on this one, but 
those are the stickers that come in that set. So pretty. Okay. And again, <laughs> so before I was able to find these at Tuesday morning, I ordered these on scrapbook.com because I wanted just some extra pieces. Um, I wanted to make sure I didn't run out. So this is all I could find on their website. And I did get a magic mat. I was so annoyed with myself that I didn't order, I think it was for Black Friday or Cyber Monday, that the magic mat was a free item. Like, how cool is that? So yeah, I missed out on that, but I still ordered one. Still wanted to support them and order directly from them. Um, actually, they're maybe the only ones you can order that from. Maybe Amazon, I don't know. But I went ahead and got one to try that out. And then I got some extra um, single pages, but I did get the full collection of the Feeling Frosty uh, because again, I wanted to make sure I had something to go along with all of the items that I had been collecting. I do have a couple of the scrapbook packs, but I wanted more of the patterns and I could not find the six by eight anywhere here in my town. So I got that. And I know you may be on the same team as me when it comes to paying for shipping. I hate doing that. Scrapbook.com, a cherry on top, you have to pay shipping. I think there's only one time a year that a cherry on top offers free shipping, um, but you can only use one code at a time. So, um, or actually they do free shipping usually on 49 or up, um, but that's a code. And then I think last year, maybe around this time, maybe it was February or March when I first ordered from them because they had free shipping with no minimum. So that's when I ordered. Um, but I think you couldn't use any other coupon then as well. So you gotta weigh which one's gonna save you more money. Um, so I ended up getting a couple of their Valentine stuff. I think these were actually on clearance. Um, this is from the Happy Hearts. And I do have some Simple Stories Valentine stuff. So hopefully that'll match it. I need to dig through my Valentine stash. So this one, also from Happy Hearts. Isn't that cute with the little typewriters and the love notes and then the letter? Okay, this is from Make It Mary. I think this was also on clearance. So these are the four by sixes. And Holly Days. I do have some Holly Days stuff. Again, that was probably on clearance too. More happy hearts. Oh, look at how pretty those roses are. A pretty little butterfly. So these are the four by sixes. You make my heart sore. That's so cute. Love that. And then also from Happy Hearts. Oh, okay. I don't remember ordering this, but that's really cute. So these are like small tags. I love anything with sheet music on it. And more happy hearts. I got the tags. So pretty. I like the dark blues that they use in this one too. More happy hearts. And these are the cut aparts. Super cute. Oh, sorry. And then the last one here is Make It Merry. Um, more cut aparts. So yeah, just a little bit more to add to my Simple Story stash. Okay, so then these are from Amazon. My dad gave myself and my husband Amazon gift cards for Christmas. So that was super helpful. So I got some stuff that was on my favorites list or safe for later list. So I got this two and a quarter inch scallop punch. Sorry for the glare, you know what? <laughs> you know what a scallop punch looks like, right? Um, I wanted to make embellishments like um, Michelle from uh, Pink Strawberries. Make, she makes them so cute. So she does the scallop and then she does the circle on top with uh, foam tape in between and then she puts an embellishment and then other little tiny accents on it. So. I wanted to try something like that. 
so I got that. Um, I needed another pair of scissors. I probably ruined mine opening Christmas packages, even though I knew better. Um, so these had really good reviews. Um, also somebody, um, made a review that they had gotten these for their grandmother and they were afraid that they were too heavy for her, but that she actually said that they were perfect. They were light on her, um, arthritic hands. So, um, I figured I'd give these a try and then kitchen scissors. So these are not going to be for my kitchen. Um, I tend to take the ones from, de from our kitchen to work on like harder stuff in my craft room, but then I can't find them when I need them in the kitchen. So I got a pair or two pairs to keep in my kitchen and um, they had different colors, but I thought these were so pretty. I think this one's called mint green um, and then pink. They had a purple set that was really pretty too. Um, so I got one of these like little hockey, not pucks, but you know, you know what I mean? Um, but for stamping, it helps you uh, put like even pressure over like your Stamparatus or your uh, Misty, whatever it is that you have. So I got that. That was super cheap. I think that was like $4 or something. Um, so I'm also into doilies lately. So I bought this. This was a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, but it was larger than some of the other ones I had been looking at. People were saying that they were only like, I don't know, two and a half inches big. So I got this and excited to try that out. And then this is from Chaos Craft. I had seen this, I can't even remember who it was, but somebody was using it in a video on Instagram. And I was like, I need that. And I don't like ordering from Chaos Craft through AliExpress because I hear that they take really long to ship and I just don't have the patience for that. So these cut out little tiny like shaker bits. So, but it cuts out a lot for you at once. So there's like a little heart lock envelope with tiny hearts for the seal, little cupid. And then of course you got a bunch of different um, hearts there. So I had that in my cart for a long time. And every time I had checked my cart, it was like only five left. And then finally it was like only two left. And I was like, I'm, I gotta, I gotta pull the trigger. I gotta do it. Okay. This is the other item I got. Um, also for journal making. Um, I've never used anything with this long poker thing, but, um, I figured I'd give it a try. This was, I think five ish dollars. They have a bunch of different sets, but I didn't really need, you know, too much. Um, especially if I'm just going to try it out, but look at how huge this bone folder is. This is like eight inches long. That's kind of cool. And then it's got this other curved one. So it comes with some twine, um, some needles, and then the poker there. So yeah, excited to try these out and bust through some of that paper stash and just get cranking and get, you know, working on some stuff. So then the last thing I got is this Boss Stitch Long Reach Stapler. So I plan to bust through a lot of my paper stash and make different size journals. Um, so the, this is great. You can, I think it said, you can make projects up to 25 inches. So basically 12 and a half is gonna be the middle of your 25 inch project. So when you close it and you fold it, it's gonna be 25, and, I'm sorry, 12 and a half in inches. And then this one also says it's two finger stapling. And Vossage is great. Um, that was one of my favorite products when I was in the office. Um, but yeah, you use very minimal effort with these, which is, great. So yep, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, any comments, likes, and or subscribes are always appreciated. I'm super, super close to 500 subscribers if I haven't already reached it before this posts, um, but I appreciate every single one of you. Um, so I hope you're having a good day or night wherever you are. Take care. Bye-bye now.